Dramatic video shared on Twitter shows a fiery explosion as the flames destroyed homes in a city called Talent. <laughs> A new state of emergency in five counties across California as wildfires continue to burn throughout the state. A record two million acres have burned so far this year. Now authorities are warning conditions could get even worse as they prepare for another day of record-breaking heat. Here are pictures from Fresno. You can see smoke so thick it blocked the midday sun and ash blanketing the ground like snow. The aftermath leaving some neighborhoods unrecognizable. And in the Sierra... miles east of Los Angeles, a gender reveal party sparked this massive blaze that's still burning. You know, those pyrotechnic devices that explode in blue or pink to announce the baby's sex. This scorched dry brush area is where the family staged the gender reveal party. The idea was to ignite a smoke canister to show the sex of the baby, but things quickly got out of hand, with temperatures over 100 degrees and plenty of fuel to feed the fire some sort of pyrotechnic device that exploded. The fire started as a small fire and then it grew completely out of control and went the first few hours. Where that smoke is coming from if you take a look just to our east that is a huge fire it wasn't there yesterday it's the creek fire burning in fresno county it started last night
And because it's so hot and so dry across California today, this thing exploded. It's 36,000 acres right now. It didn't exist yesterday. There's zero containment on it. And no surprise, look at the white right there. That is a massive pyrocumulus cloud coming off of the flames, telling us there is an intense amount of heat. But all you have to do is look at the massive amount of smoke. Record-setting wildfires are spreading up and down the West Coast this morning in hot, dry, and very windy weather. Dramatic video shared on Twitter shows a fiery explosion as the flames destroyed homes in a city called Talent in southwestern Oregon. That's near Medford. Traffic was backed up on roads after widespread evacuations were ordered in that area. Washington's governor reported more fire damage in one day than they see in an average year. The fire threat continues in much of California. Three firefighters were hurt, one critically, when flames overran their position. The National Guard was out in force, pulling campers to safety. Carter Evans reports from just outside Los Angeles where entire communities have been told to prepare to evacuate. Powerful gusts of hot, dry wind are fueling the California wildfires. The Bobcat Fire, about 30 miles east of Los Angeles, has residents preparing for the worst. The Santa Ana winds worry me a lot. When they kick up, I don't think the firefighters have a chance. After doubling in size, the Dolan Fire, burning in rugged terrain along the central coast, forced 14 firefighters to deploy their emergency shelters Tuesday. When you deploy a fire shelter, that's kind of a last chance for survival. So you take the fire shelter out of your pack and you crawl into it. In Oregon, the governor declared a wildfire emergency Tuesday. Four large fires continue to devastate Clackamas County south of Portland. Thousands of people have been told to leave their homes. Further south, this video shows sheriff's deputies driving through what's left of Mill City. Hot, dry conditions, the red flag warnings, and certainly 30 mile an hour winds have really impacted our communities. Back in California at the Creek Fire near Fresno, the National Guard used military helicopters for the second time to rescue more than 100 campers in the Sierra National Forest. It was just and this was huge billowing cloud, and it was like a nuclear bomb had exploded, and it was crazy. Each flight was capped off with a heartwarming reunion on the ground. That's a hell of a way to get a ride on the helicopter, boy! Mary Breckenridge was overjoyed to have her son <laughs> back in her arms. I'm happy that she's happy. <laughs> it was pretty nasty. It was smoky up there. Oh, yeah. We didn't know what was going to happen. California has already set a record with more than 2 million acres burned this year, and the season is only just beginning, leaving many communities on edge. If we do get a spark, that wind could just potentially take it, and it can go really quick. This is one of the communities firefighters are concerned about. Now, right now, the winds are pretty calm, so things are in good shape. But uh, if you can see over my shoulder there, right on the top of the ridge, the fire is just starting to creep over. And that's the big concern, because these winds could pick up today and blow those flames right down into this neighborhood. So far, this fire is 10,000 acres. And it's 0% contained. Uh, a little Tony? too close for comfort there, Carter. Carter Evans for us. Carter, thank you very much. is already the worst year for wildfires in California's history. 118,000 acres were burned in 2019 by this time last year. You can see close to just shy of 2.3 million acres have been burned this year. There are more than two dozen major wildfires raging across the state. There's fire on all sides, all around us, all the roads are burnt. The fast-moving Creek Fire in the Central Valley is feasting on dead trees and damaging dozens of structures. And officials say the weather conditions aren't making matters any easier. Every one of those fires is being blown out by uh, the east and northeast winds that we are seeing surface over the entire state. In addition to
addition to California, parts of Oregon are also getting scorched. And wildfires in Washington state are creating thick clouds of smoke and leaving some residents with very little. Before you know it, this is what happened to our house. It was surreal. It was like, you can't believe how fast. I can't, I still can't fathom how quick, how quickly it traveled. And it could be a while before crews can get the upper hand on some of these West Coast fires. These fires are going to continue to grow for several days. The National Interagency Fire Center says there are at least 87 major wildfires currently burning across the U.S. More than 4.7 million acres have been scorched nationwide so far this year. Thank <laughs> you.